this session I will be showing you text formatting, basic text formatting. I have a one page document in front of me. Under the home tab key, I find B for bold, I for italic, U for underline. There is a drop down. That drop down is the different styles of underline. Right next to that, I have struck through. I have my font style, my font size, increase my font size, decrease my font size. And this is my casing, sentence case, lowercase, uppercase, or capitalize each word. Another method is by format here, by the arrow, I can click on that. It gives me the same. It gives me my font, font size, style, my font size. My font style will be italic, bold, bold, italic, the size, strike through, double strike through, superscript, subscript. This over here would be a example of how it will look. Small caps, all caps, or hidden. I'm going to press cancel over here. Let's give it an instruction. Let's say that the heading rape crisis in South Africa should be uppercase, bold, double underline and size 18. So I first need to select the text I need to change. It needs to be bold. It needs to be uppercase. So I'll click on the casing. Uppercase, size 18. Not I can even click on increase or decrease, but in this case, I want size 18, double underline, and that's it. But note, off by default, after each paragraph, there should be be one line spacing which separates them. Practical suggestion, there is no line spacing. So I'm gonna press enter after that sentence and it will drop one line. So I'm using show and hide. Show and hide always indicates to me uh, my line spacing as well as my letter spacing. You'd be penalized for incorrect line spacing and letter spacing. Let's change the second paragraph, practical suggestions to uppercase. So I'll click on uppercase bold and size 14 I'll click on the drop down and click on size 14 what is line spacing there's normally an instruction to change your paragraph to 1.5 or to double line spacing so let's use for the first paragraph many people let's select that by paragraphs i'll click on the drop down Line spacing is single. So I'll click on the drop down and I'll click on 1,5. Line spacing, I click on OK. So I can see now it is 1,5 line spacing. If there's an instruction for indentation, now do not get confused with margins and indentation. Margins, I have taught you this in a separate session. I'm just going to recap on indentation while we're at it right now. So I'll highlight this paragraph over here and we can say indent the left and the right margin to 2,5 centimeters. So I select the text, by paragraph, I click on the arrow. As you can see, this is where my line spacing is and this is also where my indentation is. I can see it is flash on my left over here, which my margin is defaulted on 2,54. My indentation is zero, but the instruction is now to change it to 2,5. So I'll press 2,5 left and the instruction is both margins, so just left and right. So it's indentating the left and right margin to 2,5 and I click on OK. So my margins over here are still 2,54 centimeters as per default, but my text, my paragraph is indented to 2,5 centimeters left and you can see over here it's 2,5 centimeters, sorry, 2,5 centimeters right. That is indentation, line spacing, basic formatting, bold, italic, underline and changing my fonts.